What up, YouTube? Puff Bear 359. All right, fellas, ladies, children of all ages, Puff Bear back with another video. Uh, I'm going to do a, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to do, I got some mail um, that I might as well show you uh, real quick. And then I'm going to go, what I'm going to go over is, uh, I'll do this first. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with my $10 box of cards from the tag sale. Uh, it's mostly football, but uh, just to show you um, some of the baseball I got. This is 65, right? 1965, I got one of there. Um, 69. Then a bunch from the 70s. 70, 71. 72, 73, 71, 73. Just thumbing through them. Um, I didn't count how many cards I got. Um, but I'm just thumbing through them. This is going to be a long video, so get a bag of popcorn and a beer, or two beers. So, 73, as you can see, just card after card. They're in decent shape. Some got, you know, obviously fuzzy fuzzy corners, but nothing, uh, a couple creases here and there. But uh, to re uh, reiter reiterate the fact that, uh, there you go. The, to let you know, I mean, like I said, $10, uh, I think just for these alone would have been worth it. But, uh, anyway, so, oh, and the other baseball ones I got here, guys, these are from 1971, and these are called Tops Super. These are the bigger ones, they kind of look like, um, like the size of an index card, uh, a little bigger, maybe, and they got rounded corners, and, um, geez, they don't even fit on the goddamn screen. Let's try that, maybe, let's see. You know I'm going to hit this camera. All right, um, Ron Santo... Um, Cesar Cedeno, I, I know that. Sometimes it's tough. Let me go from the back. Richie Allen. Uh, Clarence Gaston. Gaston. Uh, let me see if I can guess some of these. Do it like that. Rico Cardi. Fer uh, Fergie Jenkins, I knew that one. These are pretty cool, man. Uh, Wes Parker. Bill Melton. Hey, these are these are in good shape. I'll tell you that. Uh, Glenn Becker, Becker, Glenn Becker, Tim McCarver. That's a very good picture right there. This, these cards are in very nice shape. Kurt Flood, Fritz Peterson, Roy White, uh, Tony Perez. These are huge, man. Bill Freehan, Alex Johnson, Don Clendendon, uh, Felix Milan, uh, Boog Powell. Oh, it's got a little bit of stuff up there. You can see it. But uh, these aren't these aren't too bad, man. Bert Campanellis, Dick Bozeman, uh, Nate Colbert, Ray Fossey. Frank Howard. Yeah, looking at the backs, man. They're uh, Luis uh, Aparicio. Knew that one. And Darren Johnson. But uh, I don't know how many that was. But uh, like I said, this was still in the $10. This is all the $10 box. Uh, with those other baseball cards, now I got these. Um, and I'm just going to show you now. Now I'm just going to show you. Instead of going through them all, um, I'll go through the years. Let's see. Uh, it's all football from the late 60s, early 70s. I'm not going through all the cards, so this is not a 100-hour uh, video. Um, 1968. These are all tops. Uh, I'm going to thumb through them. These are all tops. All right, 1968, guys. These are all the cards I got. Uh, I'm just... See? All 1968 football. Daryl LaMonica. Like I said, I didn't go crazy. Uh, I just sorted them out. I didn't like go nuts looking to see. But I, I like these old cards though, man. These are pretty cool. I didn't go George Blanda. Like I didn't go crazy like looking for uh, certain players or, you know. But that's it. I'm not going to go through all those. So there was a stack of 1968 tops that... Uh, 
goes off to the side there. Yeah, I'm running out of room on my desk. Then I went from 68 right to 1969, guys. And these are all from 1969. I'm still, uh... Look at them all. I'm not going through them. Um, those are all 1969. And over here, these are all 1970s. Ugh. All tops football. The whole thing. Yeah, you guys probably don't want to go through these. But here I go. I'm going to say it again. Ten bucks, man. I could probably sell these for a buck a piece on eBay. Right? If you're looking at it that way. Then we go from 1970 to 1972. And that's all these guys here. This was all in that shoebox. Uh, these are blue and red. Let me show you a couple of these. Some are red. Some are blue. 1971 tops. The year Puff Bear was born. 1971. Um, yeah, and these are these. You know, these are funny. These cards because uh, some of these are in better shape than others. Some look like they're brand new out of the pack. But I got a bunch of doubles. Maybe I'll sell the doubles. I don't know. You know, I don't like selling stuff, so I'd rather give shit away than sell it. Right? Anyway. Alright, so there's that one, 71, then we went from 71, and then they got a stack of 1972s, and that's all these right here, right here. These were the 1972s, the Bears, uh, I'll show you a couple of these, probably bored. Like I said, I got a couple doubles. So, there you go there. So, But, yeah, pretty cool to uh, look at the old vintage cards, man. Especially with the football ones, because I don't really deal in vintage football too often. You know, I got some older, you know, I got the um, 72 Staubach, I think it is, or, you know, stuff like that. I got some cards, but uh, I don't like, go have a lot of crazy old football cards. But I got some. Now I got some. Uh, and these are from 1973. These were also in the box. So, man, you could tell, guys. Look at the look at the quality control on that one. Look how that was cut. <laughs> Another guy. But you see, this, see, back in the day, they just took the sheet and took the machine, and this one must have been cut on a Friday. Anyway, that means it's time to go for the weekend. But uh, like, here's another one. Some of these are goofed up, man. Here's uh, Andy Russell. Uh, here's another, Fred Dreyer. He got, he went on to uh, become an actor, for those that didn't know. Fred Dreyer. So, uh, anyway, so those are the 1973s. And then the last thing I got, I didn't go any higher than that. Uh, well, I did, but meaning I got a stack from the 1990s um, right here. Not too many, just a couple you guys might have heard more of some of these guys. Uh, Reggie White, of course. Uh, Eugene Lockhart from the Cowboys. Seth Joyner, Mark, Mike Pryor, Stanley Morgan. Uh, so, But then that was for the 1990. And then uh, what else did I get? I got... Uh, there's that one. There's that one. All right, and then I got this stack right here, guys. Um... This is uh, the what else was left in the box? These uh, these little minis, I guess you could call them. And I didn't look up what year these were from, and uh, really look into these. But these got like a little uh, shininess, glossiness, plastic coat on them almost. So uh, that's this guy, Willie Wood, Daryl LaMonica. And then I get a bunch. Uh, let's see, this one, Tom Matt, Matte, Matt. I didn't. Uh, Mark Percival. Then I got a bunch of these guys here, uh, these little face figurine guys, like uh, fold-back stand-up cards they're called, or whatever the hell they are, and then I just took, uh, over here we got the checklists, checklists are marked from the various years, a bunch of different checklists, um, I put off to the side here, oh, this one I put off to the side too, um, Jim Nance, Mike McCoy, uh, Don Horn, and this uh, Gail Goodrich, from the Lakers. That's one of them uh, longer ticket-looking cards. It's pretty long, bigger one there. 
And then, uh, let's see, what else? We had these AFC scouting cards from the 70s. More pro action. Uh, these I just put off to the side. So, that's it, that's it, that's it. So, another one there. And that's it. So, anyway, guys. So, that was my box uh, from the yard sale slash tag sale, yard sale, whatever you call it. That's what was in that box. And I got to say, guys, again, for $10, uh, I did pretty well. So, uh, I think I did. And uh, So, that's that. Okay, here we go. Now, getting back to uh, the real world. Well, yeah, the real world. And I start off with a 1962 Topps card. Bought these two on eBay. 1962 tops. I bought these literally for $1.99, free shipping. Ella Garba um, and Ted Willis from 1962. Decent shape. That's going in my vintage pile, obviously. Let me put these right back in there. These are just eBay purchases, guys, in the last uh, couple weeks that I didn't get to yet. Um, from Don Mattingly, tier, uh, tops tier one, uh, number to $3.99. Uh, there's a bunch of these on eBay right now, and I just found the right one. Uh, I found the right one I wanted with the stripe in it, and this is the one I bought um, for the Mattingly PC, obviously. You guys know I collect PC uh, Mattingly. Um, funny thing is, the other night, uh, a couple weeks ago, I'm in the car, and I'm hearing Mark Schler uh, Schlereth uh, on ESPN Radio, and he was talking about his son, and I said, I know I got a couple of Daniel Schlereth cards and I know he pitches for the Tigers, but I knew that he pitched for Arizona before that. And uh, I just went on eBay and bought a couple of his cards. I got one for me and I got one for Josh. One of these is going to just uh, be his Christmas present because for the last two years I've been just giving Josh like a mystery pack of game-used jerseys and autographs. Uh, another Mattingly card. Uh, I think this is from 2004. 2002, Flair. Sorry. Uh, piece of the jersey. Mattingly, a little stripe there. Uh, bought this for a buddy. Can't show, oh geez. Uh, let me go off camera here. Can't can't uh, show this one. I did not go through that pile yet. Sorry, Polly. Sorry, Bobby. Almost showed your uh, little gift there. Uh, what else can I show? Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, we're good now. All right. Uh, another Mattingly card I got. Um... This is from 2004, yes, okay. Um, Yankee Clippings, piece of the jersey, Fleer Greats, Don Mattingly. Um, this one I got a good deal on. I want to say this one cost about $36. Uh, the other one that I was bidding on, or I think there was one on there, buy it now, where the pinstripe was literally right down the middle more. But I don't care about that. Uh, but there was a pinstripe going right down the middle. I think it was like $75 buy it now. But uh, I did not have this, guys, for my Mattingly PC, believe it or not. So that was pretty cool. Uh, my garb, oh, hit the camera. I knew I was going to hit the camera My because I got the tripod up a little higher today. Uh, I got this sweet-ass card, guys, from Ultimate. I This has got to be from 2008. Yes, 2008 Ultimate. Um, I got a quad of Dar uh, Darren McFadden, Felix Jones, uh, Jay Stu, and Rashad Amendenhall. And this is numbered to 25. 14 of 25. McFadden, Julius Jones, Mendenhall, and Jay Stu. Nice card there. Uh, I'm thinking about giving this to a buddy of mine, uh, but I think I got him too much stuff, so I overbought for somebody, so I think I might keep this for my PC, uh, but don't know yet, so surprise, surprise, we will see. Uh, then I got a, another uh, dealer. On eBay, which I was very unhappy with the way he packaged it, guys. Um, which I'll explain this in a second. Um, I'm almost done. Um, let's see. Uh, he had a, a lot of Rudy Gay cards and a lot of L.O.T. Biduki. Uh, Gary Payton cards. Um, so I bought the lot each. Got the shipping combined. It was a very good deal. Very good deal. Just to throw in my basketball. Rudy Gay went to Connecticut. Uh, UConn, you guys know that. So I kind of collect him. And Gary Payton, you know... I went on the seller's page, and he was selling this. It was $1.99, buy it now, and I bought them. So, you know, what the hell, just to throw in my uh, basketball game-used jersey box over there. Uh, drawer. But anyway, here's the thing. Here, let me show you the cards real quick, um, and I'll show you how we shipped them. Uh, Gary Payton, uh, Rudy Gay, piece of the jersey. Got a combo here of Michael uh, Cooper and Rudy Gay from SP Game Used. 
um, another Gary Payton piece of the jersey, and then um, a Rudy Gay from SPX. Uh, and here's the thing. These three are just in uh, penny sleeves, and he puts these two in top loaders, and he did the old-fashioned, you want to call it the eBay sandwich, whatever, but here's what he did. He went like this, and that's how he did a sandwich, right? And all he did was literally on the edge here to here, put a little piece of tape, little piece of tape, put it in a huge bubble mailer, which you can't bitch about. Um, and it was coming from Japan. So when I got it, how do you think these cards were? All these were out, coming from Japan. All these were separate, and these were because he didn't. What he didn't do, he didn't tape the top and the bottom. So he just taped, obviously, the sides, and these, obviously, in shipping and handling and all that stuff popped out. But the cards aren't damaged, surprisingly. But, I mean, really, dude, you couldn't just throw these three in a goddamn top loader for me? I mean, I did pay $5 shipping and handling for, you know, five cards, which is coming from Japan. I, that's I'm not bitching about it. But, I mean, come on. You can't throw these in... Okay, whatever. Enough about that. I don't want to rant or bitch or nothing like that. Uh, another uh, Daniel Schlereth card... Um, and I, and shame on me because I looked when I bought this, or actually, I, when I, yeah, after I bought it, not when I got it in the mail, but when I bought this, I got like four of these in my Bowman Chrome autograph box, so I'll give this one to Josh. And last but not least, uh, from the same buyer on eBay, uh, Albert Pujols, uh, you guys know the product here from Sweet Spot, a uh, piece of the jersey, um, and then also from Sweet Spot, same buyer, uh, Pujols and Derek Lee. So you guys know I got a little Pujols PC going uh, there also. So uh, that was it. So that was my pickups and my little bitch about eBay, which, you know, isn't surprising because all you guys that buy on eBay and from whoever you buy from, no matter if it's from other uh, YouTubers or eBay or whatever, um, you guys know that stuff happens. And, um, gee, I don't think anybody on, in this community or even on eBay in the past could ever say Puff Bear shipped uh, poorly. Um, I care about my cards and I care about the cards I sell and trade with you guys and all that stuff so that's just a little bit of me so after this video what do you think i'm going to do with these three cards of course put them in a top loader and uh, rock and roll so all right gentlemen um everybody out there in youtube land puff bear is going to be over and out um yeah uh believe it or not this table i'm on right now um will be getting cleared off this afternoon um i already got some cards on that table and i am rocking and rolling on the old Yankee Stadium Legacy uh, set. And uh, I am going to a card show tomorrow with Joshua. First Saturday of the month tomorrow. And I have to get some more supplies. Because all of the Yankee Stadium Legacies are not in top and are not in top loaders. I'm a little shy on those. So that's it. Um, yeah, we're done. Okay, so we're done. Oh, wait, you know what? Um, here's the thing, too. Let me show these cards real quick. We're not done. We're going to keep rolling here. Um, I want to I want to um, trade these guys or sell them, and here's the deal, and just because um, just because just because just because, um, I got these here. I just took them out of the box. They were all wrapped up nice. They're not in top loaders or nothing, but I had them put away for the longest time. Um, I'd like to sell these or trade for them, and I collect Mattingly. I collect the Yankees, Jeter. I don't want garbage, you know. If you want us, if you want to buy one of these, okay. Um, and it's toward the end of the video, so I doubt anybody's going to even be on here to watch it. But I'm going to throw it out here anyway because I make 25 minute videos anyway. All right, these are from Exquisite Guys. These are all super swatches, okay. These are from 2008, okay. Some are numbered to 50, some are numbered to 35. I'll just tell you who they are, and there's the card. And shoot me an offer. Say Puff Bear, I'll, I'll give you 20 bucks for the Clinton Portis. I offer you. 30 bucks for the Clinton Ports. PM me. Let me know. Okay, so here's Clinton. These are all from 2008. Um, exquisite Super Swatch. Well, not all. Some are rare materials, but whatever. You'll see the cards, and this is it. I'll just go in this order, and you tell me whatever. All right. Clinton Port is 15 of 50 for sale for trade. Now, don't send me a PM and say, yeah, I want the Clinton Portis. Or um, say, tell me what you want to give me for it, okay? You guys know what I collect. Go on my page. Whatever. And if I ignore you, that means I ignore you. Okay, here we go. Clinton Portis, number to 50. Kenny Anderson, number to 50. Uh, Braylon Edwards, number to 50. Exquisite Super Swatch. 
These are all perfect cards, guys. These are in perfect uh, condition. Another Clinton Portis numbered to 50. But this is the red one. Got the white one. Got the red one. You know? Hey, Puff, I'll give you 30 bucks for, you know, and the prices are for shipped. So if you offer me 20 bucks and I take it, I'm not saying give me 250 for shipping. No. Chad Ochocinco numbered to 50. Or if you want to buy all these, let me know. Uh, this is another Kenny Anderson. Uh, this is the blue version, number to 20. 13 of 20. Uh, Derek Anderson from the Browns, number to 50. 12 of 50. Uh, Mark Bulger, number to 50. All from Exquisite. Um, Dexter Jackson, number to 50. 44 of 50. So if you want one, shoot me an offer. Another Brown. Jesus Christ, why are all these Browns in here? Uh, 29 of 50 for Jamal Lewis, uh, Brian Brom, uh, number 23 of 50. Uh, here's another blue one of Kevin Smith, uh, 4 of 20. The blue ones are numbered to 20. Okay, so these are all for sale for trade, reasonable offers only. Don't, don't insult me, please. Um, let's see. Uh, Donnie Avery, this is from Exquisite also, 12 of 35. Got some patchage in there. 12 of 35. Yeah, we got more, we got more, we got more. Uh, Devin Thomas, 50 of 50. Uh, Kevin O'Connell, 27 of 50. Uh, Carson Palmer. 18 of 50. So these are all for sale for trade, guys. I prefer the for sale part. I'm PayPal only. Let you know that. Uh, Brody Croyle, number to 50. PayPal only. No, Nothing through the mail. Nothing. No cash through the mail. So Kevin O'Connell, this one's number to 20. Um, Chad Ochocinco, number to 35. This is the Rare Materials. Patch, patch. 28 of 35. And then I got these two other ones. These are also from uh, 2008. These are exquisite dual patches. And one's of Joseph Adai and one's of Devin Thomas. They're both numbered to 50. So this is the Devin Thomas, sorry, uh, dual patch. It's pretty cool in there, man. These are nice. These cards are beautiful. With that gold trim on there. And the last one's Joseph Adai. That's uh, that's some patchage. Oh, these cards are beautiful. And these cards are in great shape, guys. They were in a little box, and I had freaking uh, packing peanuts all around them, and it was all bubble mailed around those, and it was all padded nice. And I bought them as a lot on eBay a long time ago. I had taken a couple out and sold a couple and put some in my PC because there were some giants in here. And I think there was a Brady in here that I kept for myself that I'm not getting rid of. Oh, and a Manning, too. Uh, paid pretty good money for all these. Obviously, these are high-quality cards, high-end cards. You know that. So these are all for sale, guys. If somebody wants to offer me something for all of them, uh, let me know. I'll sell half of them. I'll sell ten of them. I'll sell five of them. Let me know which ones you want. So, all right. You know, you guys know I don't do this for sale, for trade thing uh, too often. But I was going to put those on eBay. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go through doing all that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Showed you some of the stuff from my tag sale, my yard sale. I uh, got some cards in the mail, got those for trade, for sale, whatever, um, and thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Uh, I'll make another video after I go to the card show tomorrow, hopefully. So I'll make one probably Sunday or Monday, and uh, everybody have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you.